Using the standard reduction table, write the balanced net ionic equation for the reaction that occurs for combining acidified sodium dichromate solution with barium iodide solution. Now I've started us off by giving you a portion of our redox table. We know that we've got acidified sodium dichromate. When that compound goes into water, it separates, it dissociates into sodium ions and dichromate ions. I can see acidified dichromate ions up near the top right here. The sodium plus one will appear on the left side of the table, but much lower down. Now, part of the problem here is we want a reaction to occur. So we need that backslash kind of shape that we've seen in our notes. Sodium will not give us that with anything we see here. We'll think about it, but come back to that. Now the barium iodide, I can find iodide ions on the chart right here. They're on the right side. Oh, that works well because look, we've got that backslash. Now the barium ions, they are like the sodium and they are much lower down on the table, but on the left. If we look at sodium or barium ions with the iodide, those will both be forward slashes or non-spontaneous. So we're not going to look at them. Now, if I take the two that look like they could work, we have dichromate plus 14H plus for the acidified plus six electrons, giving us two chromium plus three plus seven water. Now that's our reduction reaction. Our oxidation reaction is the iodide ions going to form iodine. So I'm going to write it opposite to what it's on the chart here because that's what's actually happening. So we have iodine plus two electrons. To begin this process of balancing, we need to make sure that the electrons balance. And there's six in the dichromate reaction. There are two in the iodine. So I'm going to multiply this one by three, because three times two makes six, that would balance it out. So I'm going to rewrite this as dichromate Cr2O7 minus two plus my hydrogen ions. I'm not going to write in the electrons because they're going to end up canceling out as six electrons will be on the reactant side, six on the product side. But I do need to write in the six iodide ions. And then we have two chromium plus three plus seven water and then plus three iodine. And again, we don't write in the electrons. So this is the net ionic balanced equation. We don't have the sodium or barium present because they don't change throughout the course of this reaction.